Hello there guys, it's CoolFox over here and today I'm bringing you an unboxing and review of the i500 AirPods replica. So starting off with the unboxing, on the front you have a picture of the AirPods themselves and as you can see on the other sides it is all blank except for on the back where you have a bit of information here and this is supposed to be a replica of the AirPods so there should be something similar, I will put a picture right now up on the screen of the actual box. But basically on the back all you have written is that it comes with a wireless charging case. But nonetheless let's go straight into the unboxing. So opening up the box you can see that you will find the airpods inside of their case. Underneath you will find a charging cable which is actually a lightning cable just like the original airpods. So we will talk about that later on. And then you will also find a little leaflet. So taking a look at the charging cable and comparing it to the original, you can see that they are practically identical, but they do have different charging properties. And we will get into this later on in the video, as if you use the original cable to charge these AirPods, you might damage the case and the AirPods themselves. And now taking a look at the case, you can basically see that this is almost a one-to-one -one replica to the actual AirPods. And you can also see the writing here on the back, and it does match up with the actual airpods. Now the only difference that I did find was that the writing itself is a bit faded compared to the real airpods. The latch here on the back is made out of metal on the real airpods, while on these it is made out of plastic. And the latch here is a bit different as the real airpods have better clamping force than this and these are less rigid than the real airpods as well. And when you go to close them, the real airpods have a bit more magnetic force than these ones here and also the seal that connects this top part to the actual case is a bit different as the real airpods have a better seal but apart from that you can see that the lightning port here on the bottom is the same as the real airpods the button here on the back is the same as well and the led here on the front works just like the real airpods so once you open up the case it will show the charge of the case itself once you take out the airpod it will show you the charge of that particular airpod so if you take out the other one, it will show you the charge of that one. And when you go to put in the AirPod itself, it will show you the charge of that AirPod. And now something else that you might see here is that it does also have magnets here, just like the real AirPods. And that will ensure that they will not fall down out of their case, which is obviously really good to see as these are basically a one-to-one -one replica, as I said before. And even the writing here on the inside of the case is the same as the real AirPods. So one thing to keep in mind is that if the case or the AirPods are on less than 50% battery, it will shine an amber light instead of a green light. Now, since these are trying to mimic the AirPods 2 with the wireless case, this also does wirelessly charge, which is really good to see. And we will get into that later on in the video. So to pair these up with an iPhone, all you need to do is take the case and open up the lid. And this will just pop up the box just like the real AirPods on the bottom here. And it will display the battery of the case and the AirPods themselves. So in that regard, you have no problem and these will work perfectly fine with your iPhone since these two have the H1 chip that is found on the real AirPods. But to connect them to your Android device, you need to go into pair a new device. Once you open up the case, it will display, but you will not be able to pair as this is not in pairing mode. So you will need to hold down the button on the back, wait for it to get on the white flashing light and press on AirPods and this will now let you pair with them without any problems. And just like the real AirPods, if you do close the lid, the device will obviously disconnect automatically and once you open it up again, it will also connect automatically. Now it might take a few seconds to connect if you just disconnect it, but if these have been disconnected for quite a while, you will see that the connection time is pretty fast and just like the real AirPods, you will have no problems with the connection in this regard. Once you take them out of the case and close down the case and check that it is connected to your phone, you will hear a little tone, which means that these two are connected together. And then you can start listening through your phone on these without any problems. If you do remove one of these from your ears or both of them at once, it will automatically pause the media that's playing on your phone, which is really good to see. And also the double tap function on both of the earbuds work, which is also amazing to see. And in fact, if you double tap the right AirPod, it will pause and play the media. And if you double tap on the left AirPod, it will pause the media and open up Google Now. But it is amazing to see that these do work just as intended on the Android phone as well. So now just to show you an example of how the autoplay and pause works and how the double tap works on both of the earbuds, I will show you a test with them on my ears. So as you can see, they do look just like the real AirPods and no one will really notice that these are actually fake replicas, which is really good if you are going after that look. 
but anyways here is the test of how it works with the auto play and pause so once you double tap the right earbud it will play the media that's on your phone and once you remove one of the airpods it will automatically stop which is really good to see and once you put it back in your ear it will continue on with the song and now once i double tap the left airpod you will see that google now will open up and it did actually take a while to detect my double taps and I did try it out a few times so from my experience I did find that the left airpod is a bit more unresponsive than the right airpod. It does work better though if the song is paused already and once you double tap it will open up Google now without any problems. So now going into the problems that I found, one of the main problems was that they keep disconnecting from each other sometimes and they will go on into a loop. And to fix that you will need to put them back inside of the case and disconnect them from your phone which is a bit annoying and it did happen quite a bit but nonetheless these are fake replicas so this can be expected since the price is a lot cheaper than the real airpods now another thing is that these did lose charge quite quickly and once i put them back into the case they did start charging up without any problems but they again lost charge quite quickly so again in total i would say that the case supplied the batteries for around six or seven hours of playtime which isn't that much compared to the real airpods but again this is to be expected since these are replicas and now the most disappointing thing is that the real charger does not actually charge up these airpods and just to show you an example this is how they charge up with the real cable and how they charge up with the cable that's supplied with the airpods themselves so once you charge them up with the cable supplied in the box you can see that there will be an led light shown Obviously in this case it is green since these are fully charged already but once you connect the real cable here which is as I said before from my iPad mini first gen you will see that this will start happening which in my opinion is hurting the battery and also the airpods inside so you should not really let this plugged in at all since this is not really a good sign that these are charging. So again if you do have an iPhone and you have the lightning cable here. I would recommend that you use the cable provided with these only and you do not use the cable provided with your phone. And now just to show that the wireless charging does actually work, I do have a wireless charging pad here but the charging coils are somewhere here in the middle so I will have to hold it up just so that it charges well. Once I do put it on this can happen as it is not directly on the charging coil but once I do find the correct position you can see that it is charging without any problems. Now as for sound quality I would say that these have pretty good sound and they are very close to the actual airpods and as you all know the real airpods and these airpods as well do not have the best seal on your ears so a lot of sound will be leaked out considering the form factor and the size and also the style of the airpods themselves this is to be expected so obviously i would not recommend these if you're going on the bus for example or on a train or something of that sort since a lot of the outside surrounding noise will be heard even with these on and there will be quite a significant amount of sound leakage as well so people around you might hear what you are hearing but apart from that overall i would say that for the price you cannot really beat this and i would say that this is the best replica out there on the market now obviously there are a few drawbacks as i said before but these are really small nitpicks obviously considering that this is a replica and for the case itself and the airpods design i would say that these do have a very very good representation of the real airpods at a significantly lower price and something else which is obviously slightly different is the packaging itself and all they did in fact was just copy the manual itself and put it on a generic leaflet book which is obviously going to be a bit different than the real airpods so i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did please leave a like and subscribe for more content this was cool fox and i'm out peace